Okay, so here we are, we've got the another integration revision video for core 4, for C4. This time it's a parametric one. So we've got the parametric equations for this curve C, we've got the diagram of it here, and we're asked to find the value of A. Well, A is related to the point P, so um, and it has X coordinate, or X value A, and Y value 4. So at P, we can write down two equations. We can write down one for x, which means that a is equal to 3t sine t. And we can write down the one for y, but we know that y is 4 in this case, at point p. So 4 is equal to 2 sec t. Now, if we look at these two equations, so this one here, the first one, the one we got from the x, is actually got two unknowns. It's got an a and t, which obviously we can't solve with just one equation. However, we could use the second one, which only has one unknown, in order to find t, and then substitute that value of t up into here. So if we call this one one, and this one two, let's solve two first. So four is equal to two over cos t. I hope you can see how I've got that, because I've just rearranged the sec to be uh, 1 over cos. Now rearranging this equation, get cos t on its own. Cos t is equal to 2 over 4, which is a half. And now if we do inverse cosine of a half, we work out that t is pi over 3. Okay, so once we've got pi over 3, we can then substitute into 1. Substitute into equation number 1. So now we can say that a is equal to 3 lots of pi over 3 sine pi over 3. So what we get is, well, sine pi over 3 is root 3 over 2, and 3 lots of uh, third pi means the 3's cancel, so you're going to get pi root 3 over 2, and that's our value for a. Right, so standard, standard three marks, that's basic parametric uh, stuff. The next bit asks us to find out, uh, show that the area of R is given by this. So an area under the graph is in integration, and we've got to get to this expression here. And this is an expression with dt. And because this is parametric, we've got to do parametric uh, integration. Well, the way that works, what I mean by that, usually we would find the area of y with respect to x. We'd integrate y with respect to x and we do it between, in this case, we do it between 0 and a because they're the value of the limits in x. So the integration of the curve, c or y, and it's between 0 and a. However, this is parametric, so we need to do the integration of y. We can't differentiate um, integrate y with respect to x because y is actually a function of t. So we have to do y dx dt multiplies and then integrates by dt. So we've got to change, so our parametric integration goes from y dx to y dx dt dt. Also our limits have to change, and our limits are going to have to change, and we're going to have to work out what they are. So the limits when for x, oops, a bit of a wiggly line there, when x is naught, well, put here, when x is naught, sine t is naught, so t becomes naught, we can get that from our parametric thing up here, and the other limit in x was a, and that means, well, a, well, we can, we've worked just what that in the first part of the question, actually the value of t at a when x is uh, pi root 3 over 2 was actually value of t of uh, pi over 3, so we're changing this limit, this limit stays the same as naught, and the limit of a for x becomes the limit of pi over 3 for t. So we need to, um, we got the y bit, that's easy, that's 2 sec t, but we need to find dx dt. So dx dt is what well, we just got to differentiate uh, t here, haven't we? So if we just write what dx dt is down, dx dt is equal to, well, find dx dt is just, it's a product, isn't it? It's 3t, it's a product of 3t and sine t. So, differentiate the first, 3 
multiplied by the second sine t plus uh, keep the 3t and then differentiate the sine which becomes cos so you get 3t cos t so let's put that all back together when we want to do our integration so really for the area we're doing the integration between naught and pi over 3 of y and our value of y is 2 sec t and we're multiplying that by 3 sine t plus 3t cos t all with respect to t. Now we can rearrange this so that becomes not between pi over 3 well if we do the 2 times the 3 it means we're going to have to take a 6 out sec is 1 over cos isn't it so you're going to get sine over cos which is a tan t and uh, cos t divided by cos t is just going to give you 1 so it's 1 with respect to t it was important that we had to work out what dx dt was worth because we had to use this parametric integration because y is a function of t we cannot just differentiate it with respect to x because of the uh, independent variable t we've got to do y dx dt and then we can integrate with respect to t okay so we need to change our limits as well which is what we did put our expression together this was our y this is our dx dt multiplied it out took a factor of six out and we got exactly what we were asked to show between 0 and pi over 3 of tan t plus t. Oh, tan t plus, this is 3t here, so this should be t. That's why it's always worth going back, checking that you've done what you should have done. One last little bit here. For four marks, now it says find the va exact value of the area of r. So really the integration we were asked to do between 0 and pi over 3 of, well it was 6 times that wasn't it, and it was tan t plus t with respect to t. So we've actually got to do this integration and put in our limits 0 and pi over 3. Well that becomes 6 on the outside. Well tan t integrates to ln sec t and t integrates to t squared over 2 and we're doing that between 0 and pi over 3 so let's carry on 6 outside and then we're going to get well we need to put pi over 3 in all of these things we'll do that on our calculator sec of pi over 3 is 2 so actually we get ln 2 plus putting in this into here we get pi squared over 9 but it's half of that so it's pi squared over 18 then when we put 0 in sec of, uh, sec of 0 is 1 so we get ln of 1 which we should know something about and then when we put 0 into here 0 squared is 0 so plus 0 actually it should be a minus 0 but just when we do other questions it's also a minus like zero. Okay. Well, we know that this becomes zero. So really, what we get is we get six ln two plus pi squared over three because the six and the eighteen can cancel. So pi squared over three, and that's our exact value. If we were asked to actually work out a number, we could just bang this into our calculator, get a value out, and we could write that down. In this case, we we're asked to find the exact value so we just stop there 6 ln 2 plus pi squared over 3 okay so quite once we got that integration and they'd already given us even if you couldn't do the all of part b they gave you the uh, integration which you then could have done substituting the limits easy go back over it especially probably the, the middle bit is probably part b was probably the hardest bit of that question